Welcome to our deep dive into the world of automation engineering interviews. Today, we're covering the top 10 questions you might face and providing example answers to help make you shine. Whether you're aiming for your first role or looking to advance your career, these insights will be your guide. Let's get started. Question one often is, what is your experience with automated testing frameworks? An example answer could be, I have hands-on experience with frameworks like Selenium for web applications, Appium for mobile apps, and robot frameworks for both. In my last role, I extensively used Selenium to automate browser-based tests, significantly improving test coverage and efficiency. How would you automate a login page is a very common follow-up question. A solid response might be, I'd start by identifying the elements like username, password fields, and the submit button using their IDs or XPaths. Then, I would write a script to input test credentials, submit the form, and verify successful login by checking the presence of a logout button or a welcome message. I'd also include negative tests to ensure robust validation. Interviewers might ask, what are some challenges that you've faced in test automation? An effective answer could be, one major challenge is keeping the test scripts up to date with the ever-evolving application features. I tackle this by implementing regular review and update cycles for the scripts and closely collaborate with the development team to anticipate changes. To the question, how do you ensure the stability and reliability of your test automation framework? You might say, stability comes from regular maintenance and updates to the framework using version control for script management and ensuring all team members are trained on the framework's best practices. This approach minimizes disruptions and maximizes test reliability. Describing a challenging test automation project is another common question. You might say, for instance, automating the testing for a complex financial application with numerous interdependent modules and transactions was particularly challenging. It required a deep dive into the business logic to craft accurate and comprehensive test cases, a task that demanded close collaboration with the development team. When asked about handling flaky tests, you could respond, flaky tests undermine trust in automation. I address them by analyzing test logs and execution patterns to identify the root cause, whether it's timing issues, unreliable selectors, or environmental instabilities and then I systematically eliminate these issues to ensure consistent test results. When asked about how to ensure comprehensive coverage, a good answer might be, I start with a detailed test plan that outlines all scenarios from the most common use cases to edge cases. Using this plan, I develop a suite of automated tests, regularly reviewed and updated to adapt to new features and changes, ensuring no functionality goes untested. For the next question, if asked, how do you handle data-driven testing in your automation framework? You could say, I leverage external data sources like CSV files or databases to feed a variety of test inputs into my scripts. This approach allows for extensive coverage over numerous scenarios without the need to write individual tests for each, enhancing both efficiency and comprehensiveness. When asked, what is your experience with CI/CD pipelines and test automation? You should say, my experience with CI/CD pipelines involves setting up automated tests to run as part of the integration process using tools like Jenkins. This ensures that any new commits are immediately tested, allowing us to quickly identify and resolve any issues, maintaining the code base's integrity, and accelerating the development cycle. When asked how to improve manual testing efficiency, consider answering with, I identify repetitive and time-consuming manual tests for a key feature and automated them. This not only sped up the testing process by 50%, but also allowed the manual testers to focus on exploratory testing, significantly enhancing our overall testing strategy. Now, let's talk performance. What is your experience with performance testing, and how do you automate it? I'd answer, I've used JMeter and Gatling for web app performance testing focusing on metrics like response time. By simulating high user traffic, I automate these tests to analyze it at performance under load, ensuring scalability and responsiveness. How do you ensure your automated tests are maintainable and scalable? A great response is, by adhering to best practices like modular scripting and meaningful naming, 
I ensure all tests are maintainable and scalable. Collaborating with developers ensures compatibility with evolving app architectures, keeping tests relevant and adaptable. How would you approach testing for mobile applications? An effective answer could be, starting with key app requirements, I employ tools like Appium to automate user interaction simulations across devices and platforms, complemented by manual testing to refine the mobile user experience. For API testing, what is your experience and how do you automate it? A solid reply, my experience with API testing includes using Postman and SOAP UI. I automate tests by scripting requests to endpoints and validating responses. Integrating these with CI CD pipelines like Jenkins ensures continuous testing and validation. When discussing test reliability, how do you ensure your automated tests produce consistent results? An answer might be, I focus on stable selectors and synchronization techniques like weights, alongside robust error handling to enhance test reliability. Regular reviews and exploratory testing complement these efforts. How would you perform cross-browser testing using automation? Your response could be, I define the target browsers and versions, then script tests to run across these, utilizing cloud platforms like BrowserStack for a wide range of real device testing, ensuring broad compatibility. What is your experience with security testing and how do you automate it? An effective response could be, Using tools like OWASP Zap, I automate security scans to identify vulnerabilities like SQL injection, enhancing the app's security posture through proactive testing. Regarding accessibility, how do you handle testing using automation? You might say, tools like Axe automate accessibility tests ensuring compliance with standards. I complement these with manual checks using assistive technologies aiming for inclusive design. Can you describe your experience with data integration testing and how you automate it? A good answer is, I've tested data pipelines using Kafka and Nithi, creating scripts to simulate various data scenarios, ensuring seamless data flow and integrity across systems. Next, how do you handle testing for different locales and languages using automation? A third reply would be, by incorporating multilingual test data and leveraging conditional logic in my scripts, I ensure the application behaves correctly across various regions, further validated by translation tools for accuracy. When asked, how do you handle testing for different types of data, such as structured or unstructured? A great answer is, I use various data structures, for example, XML, and tools like Apache Avro for unstructured data, ensuring thorough validation of data ingestion and processing. Can you describe your experience with testing for user interfaces using automation? Answer with, my experience involves tools like Apple Tools for visual testing, ensuring UI consistency across platforms by stimulating user interactions and deploying visual validation tools. How do you handle testing for microservices using automation? A proficient answer is, by creating scripts for inter-service interactions and using Docker Compose or Kubernetes for deployment, I ensure seamless data flow and integration among microservices. Discussing desktop applications, when asked, can you describe your experience? You could say, I leverage OneApp Driver and AutoIT for automating desktop UI interactions, ensuring functionality and responsiveness across OS versions. For non-functional aspects like reliability, how do you automate testing? A good response is, using JMeter and Locust, I simulate extreme conditions to test application reliability and scalability, backed by detailed performance metrics and reports. Regarding real-time systems, how do you automate tests? An effective answer includes, I use MQTT and Kafka to simulate real-time data and messaging scenarios ensuring the system's robustness and handling high volumes of data and messages promptly. When testing authentication, how do you automate? You might respond, by scripting user login flows and access controls using Selenium, I ensure the application correctly enforces various authentication mechanisms like OAuth and SAML, using diverse user roles and permissions. 
For blockchain applications, describe your testing experience. A solid answer could be using Ganache for personal blockchain and Truffle for automated testing. I validate smart contract interactions and transactions, ensuring blockchain integrity and functionality. How do you handle testing for third-party API integration? An adept reply is, by simulating various API interactions and error scenarios using Postman, I ensure robust integration and error handling, validating the application's resilience against API failures. Dealing with dynamic elements, how do you ensure test accuracy? Your answer could highlight, I employ synchronization methods like explicit weights and dynamic locators such as XPath to manage dynamic elements, ensuring tests remain stable and reliable. As we wrap up, consider how tools like TestRigger revolutionize automation testing. TestRigger's generative AI allows manual testers to create tests in plain English, simplifying end-to-end -end testing across multiple systems. It's time to move beyond traditional methods and embrace a tool that enhances collaboration, reduces maintenance, and achieves full test coverage faster. Explore TestRigger today and transform your testing strategy.